And I was asked to sort of give a, an update on um, uh, global warming and climate change as it uh, relates to our islands. And I'll go ahead and do that. And uh, just to warn you, uh, we've got some big challenges that we're, that we're facing. Um, today, uh, the carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere are about 409 parts per million. And that is higher than it's been at any time over the last 800,000 years, at least. And when I say higher, it's actually quite a bit higher than it's been. We are way outside the realm of natural variability. One of the reasons we know that is because of measurements that have been made here on our island, on Mauna Loa. Since the 1950s, we've been uh, collecting atmospheric measurements on a daily and hourly basis up at the summit of Mauna Loa, and we see that it's going up and up and up. And we have someone to thank for this, a man who kept this program going. His name was Charles Keeling, Dr. Charles Keeling. <laughs> the reason I bring his name up is because there's something about Charles Keeling that you should know. Charles Keeling was a registered Republican. This is a very important point for me because science is blind to political persuasion. And I reject the idea that if you are a Republican or an independent or a Democrat, you are able to interpret this data differently based on that persuasion. That's impossible. And unfortunately, some of the ramifications of these very high concentrations are numerous. The biggest one is that it's getting hotter. 2016 was the hottest year on record. Before that, 2015 was the hottest year on record. And it's only going to continue to get hotter and hotter. And as a result of this, our sea levels are rising and any number of other things are occurring. In terms of sea level rise, we're already seeing the effects here in Hawaii and in our neighboring islands, in, in the, especially in places like the Marshalls or Kiribati. Kiribati is projected to become completely uninhabitable in the next 30 years because of sea level rise. In downtown Honolulu, at high tide events right now, seawater comes out of the storm drains and floods the streets. Right now, this is happening, okay? It's raining, but if you were to look out there and see the seawall, it's gonna be covered up by water in the very near future, and we need to get ready for this. Our island communities need to become more resilient and prepared and ready for what's coming. In addition to sea level rise, the oceans are acidifying. The carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is going into the water, and that's causing major problems for our marine and coral ecosystems. We're getting a lot more coral bleaching events. The Great Barrier Reach is dying, and here in Hawaii, we're having major issues. And it's not just in the oceans. Our terrestrial systems are in trouble, too. An unfortunate but very, very clear example of this are our native Hawaiian forest birds, the honey creepers. They live in the upper parts of the forest. And until recently, those areas have been basically too cold for mosquitoes to go up into. But as things get warmer, the mosquito line is moving higher and higher and higher. That's right. The mosquitoes, unfortunately, are now, because it's getting hotter, able to move higher and higher up into the forest and our birds are going extinct. I'll say it again, before our eyes, our beautiful, amazing, incredible honey creeper birds here in Hawaii are going extinct. And all of these things are happening, and the reason they're happening, and this is where, this is the hard part of the message, is because of us, right? It's because of me, and it's because of you. It's not because of Donald Trump or anybody else, it's because of the actions that we take on a daily basis. The decisions that we make in terms of driving to the store, the food that we eat, the energy that we use, all of these things, unfortunately, have an indirect effect of putting CO2 into the atmosphere. And so what I would ask in my limited time, and I know I have short time, is that we at the very least acknowledge that, that our actions and our decisions have impacts. Whether we want them to have this impact or not, they do. And for those of us who are in a position to make changes in our behavior and make changes in our communities and make different decisions about what we do, please make different decisions. If you can walk or bike, do that. If you can put a solar hot water heater on your house, do that. If you can change your transportation, do that. If you can change the source of food that you consume, do that.
And that's all my time. Thank you very much. Aloha, everybody.